I'll be talking about uh, implement multi-dimensional arrays and metrics using NumPy. Now, this is an array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. You can do an array of sum which will give you 45, array of mean which will give you 4.5. Now, these are some of the basic mathematics function, right? You, you get a standard deviation when you do an array of STD. You don't have to write your all code, right? It's, it just gives you standard deviation. It gives you maximum as well. Minimum. It gives you array of all. Now, now some of these things you will not know, right? As to you might ask me, what is an all, right? I don't know what an all is. I don't know what an any is. Okay, is everything true? Now, for those cases, what you have to do is. So, okay. Now, see, you did not know about what is array dot all, right? So, what you you do, go here and then you say array of dot all, and then get doc. Okay. It will say the returns true if all elements evaluates to true, which is not in our case, right? So, refer to numpy dot all for full documentation. It gives you this. You know, if if you do not know what are the two all the objects and attributes available inside uh, your uh, function, what do you do? You say dir array. It gives you all the list of uh, available, you know, attributes, methods, etc. And in that, again, if you if you can, you can also go ahead and say arr dot all. It will give you all the available list of uh, again methods and functions. And then see here you have doc, so you you just can do a arr all dot under underscore doc. So you you get everything. Okay. So that's how about it here. You calling any it will it will be true if any of that element is true. So it's just returning any. Non zero it will give you all those items which are not zero. This is one array or which is of type float, another array which is of type float, you just add those two arrays and then it just adds 9 plus 2 11, 5 plus 5 10 to 9 plus 2 11 and then but it's of type float here. You do you do a subtraction, you do a multiplication, you do a division, you, you can do anything on an array. Okay, so moving ahead and then array 1 percentage array 2, so in, in this case 2 divided by 9 is 1 right and 5 divided by 5 is 0 and in this case 2 divided by 9 is again 2 right so that's how it is it's is the remainder and array 2 star star array 1 it means to say that array 2 into or to the power array 1 right so it, it gives you all these values And then array one, you have this array one, you have array two, this one, and array one plus array two, you can do that, right? On and all those uh, functions associated with mathematics, you can you can sort it as well. Say array dot sort, you you can see sorting the array. You just sort it like this. If you do array dot sort and array, everything is sorted within the array. But if you just want to sort it temporarily, you can do numpy sort of array and it will sort it here, but then if you print the array, actually it will not sort it. Now, array and there is calling argument sort. Use argument sort indices to get sorted array. If you say array dot arg sort, it just sorts it for you. Now, you do not know what an argument sort is, right? So let's let's see what it does. Print and array dot a r g s o r t dot doc. Now we see this returns the indexes which would sort this array. Now this it's returning the index indices that would sort the array. So it's returning the in indices of this array. Right? So if you say a r r dot argument sort now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the lowest, right? 5, 5 5.4, that's the fourth one. And then second 0, 1, 2, 5.5 .5 is the second one, fifth, seven is the third one, and third 
is 10.2 fourth and you have fifth one two okay with array dot arguments are zero and c you it also gives you zero here that that's that's the interesting part here where's that uh, Okay, you can you can do it for yourself, right? Because when you when you do it, it just it just not only gives you this, and then you have 5.3, and then zero, and one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just take an array, and then if you say argument sort, it will give you the indices which is sorted. Simple, as simple as that. Zero refers to the zeroth element here. And then also you can say array of array dot argument sort, which will give you the value again. Sum again, numpy dot sum is the same thing, right? And you have uh, you have array functions as well. The other array functions you can transport it array dot transpose nine seven eight six. You see nine seven and eight six. If you transport nine seven goes to row and eight six becomes another row, right? Row becomes columns, columns becomes row. Call calling invert. If you just do numpy dot invert. It just invert it for you. Now, if you do not know what an invert is, just go and do do the documentation. You'll be able to understand creating three into three identity matrix three i three, right? So, almost all these functions are right. Uh, if you guys have used octave or uh, r for that matter, you know it's it's the same. The command is exactly the same. Everything is same. You know the i is also same. I think in r it's identity, but uh, in this case it's an it's i. So almost it's almost same. And matrix product, you use a dot operator. Okay, matrix this into this, array into array. So you get, you get this. And then you have uh, numpy data types as well, which is boolean, integer, unsigned, float, and this is complex. You know, you, you if you remember uh, having worked on complex, uh, you know, numbers. Back back in school days or, or college days, wherein you say a plus i j, that's how you represent a complex number, right? So it it has a basic type for complex as well, string objects and records. So these are the basic data types available. Now, going to that was just you created some identity matrix, you did some transpose, you you sorted the element uh, in in your numpy. If you want to do some more statistics on numpy. You have uh, median. You have, uh, you know, is coefficient correlation coefficient here. Okay. Now, if you want the formulas as to how this is calculated, guys, you'll have to go and look and look into a little bit of statistics before you come here. Because if you do a correlation coefficient on this array, whichever is there, it gives you this output, right? You'll have to do a little bit of research before you can find out as to how this is done. It will be a simple match formula. It's up to you if you want to do it. Now, this is covariance, calling covariance. You can call covariance as well. So, basically, the move point here is uh, you can call uh, the basic statistics functions as well in NumPy. Instead of writing your big code, you know, you can just call this function and it will take care of everything. NumPy for two dimensional arrays, right? See, you have matrix also here. Matrix equal to NumPy dot mat, mat and then you get matrix instead of array. Now, there are differences between a matrix uh, multiplication and uh, an array multiplication that uh, you can see here. Creating matrix by passing an array. So you pass this array and then you create a matrix. It will create a matrix here. Creating matrix by passing array in a matrix. In AS matrix, now let's see some of the matrix stuff. This is your array, right? And then I say mat equal to numpy dot mat, and what is the parameter that I have to pass? I have to pass array. So now instead of array, this becomes a matrix okay now what do i do with matrix i can do a matrix multiplication mat dot mat right one how how does a matrix multiplication happens you know that right let me 
quickly take it through that notepad. I mean, I'm not going to explain everything. It's just that let me copy this. Let me take a simpler example. This will be a lot of numbers. So, uh, Amit, uh, there are operational differences between metrics. So, you, when you do met, uh, array multiplication, if you have an array, then it just multiplies or adds with its corresponding array va value, right? That's what we saw. If you have an array 1, 2 and you're multiplying by 1, 2, then it becomes one, uh, 1 into 1 and 2 into 2 is 1 and 4, right? That's how array works. But in case of metrics, that's what I'm showing right now. Let's say, for example, 1, 2, right this is your let's say this is your matrix and you are multiplying it by self so how, how does a matrix multiplication happens so this will multiply with this 1 into 1 so this is how it will look like okay 1 into 1 plus 2 into 3, right? So, 1 into 1 plus 2 into 3, that's the first row. The second will be 1 into 2 plus 2 into 4. That's how it is, that's the first row. And the second row, 3 into 1 plus 4 into 3. and space and 3 into 2 plus 4 into 4. So, this is how a matrix multiplication is done. But how would an array multiplication would have been done? It would have been 1 is to 1, right? 1 into 1 and 2 into 2, 3 into 3 and 4 into 4. So, this is multi matrix multiplication. Now, let me show this to you, okay? Let me show this. No. Okay? This is an array. And <coughs> Okay, this is array multiplication. Okay, so when I do an array multiplication, I get 1 into 1 and 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4. Are, are you able to get this amid as to how a matrix multiplication and array multiplication differ? Yes, right? So, that's that's the basic difference that I wanted to show. That's all. Now, if I convert this into matrix, now this is array multiplication, right? Now let's say matrix equal to numpy dot matrix and let me pass the array. So it becomes matrix and mat into mat. If I do, I have 7, 10, 15, 22. Okay. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, I gave it 1, 2. See here, what will this result to equal to 1 plus 7, 6, 7 and 8 plus 2, 10, right? If I am making any mistake guys, please correct me. 4, 3, 12 plus 3, 15 and 16 plus 6, 22. I think uh, that's, you see? my output 7, 10, 15, 22 and the output that is being given here are the same. Okay, 7, 10, 15, 22 and 
1416 SA. So there are basic difference between a matrix and uh, a you know array and and based on your requirement you would go and do whatever uh, you have to do you either have to implement a matrix or a an array that's what you do and basically all said and done all I'm trying to say here is that uh, you know NumPy has the capability to do all this and not only this it also does uh, some of this uh, basic statistical stuff for advanced we will go to SciPy and then you have uh, you do a matrix by passing array into asymmetric matrix note that in statement mat equal to mat creates a copy of array a, okay changing the value of a will not affect m so some these are some of the nodes right so whenever you change the value of a the matrix has already been created so anyways that's not going to get affected on the other hand method m equal to a symmetric matrix of a returns a new reference to the same data changing the value of a will affect matrix m or you know if you are not able to understand this you can just say uh, dir just give asymmetric matrix and dop it will it will tell you all that you need to know arrays and matrix operations may be quite different right this is the, that's the operation that i give if you say array it gives you a list 1 to 9 but matrix of 0 will give you only list within a list of 1 to 9 an array in, into array we saw that matrix into matrix we saw that as well array to the power n it's it's like into 2 into 3 into 4 right that's that that's simple array into power n will give you some value whereas matrix into power n will give you entirely different values you know that right multiplication the first matrix transpose is mat dot t matrix inverse is mat dot i okay so those are options here again operate Okay, and uh, operator star dot and multiply for array star means element wise multiplication and dot function is used for matrix multiplication. For matrix star means matrix multiplication and the multiply function is for element wise multiplication. So these are the operations, the operators that are available. Handling of vectors, right, there are uh, various dimensional vectors we saw, we saw this like, uh, we saw how to access rows, columns, etc. So that's what it's saying here on your rank and vectors, handling of higher rank arrays, arrays, array objects can ha have rank greater than 2, matrix objects will always have exactly rank 2. That's how uh, that's defined, matrix and array. No, now this is something dot t etc, right, you saw that uh, this is dot t transfer dot i, that's what is being explained there that convenience constructors etc convenience so so it is the same thing that's being explained here the array the array constructor takes nested python sequence as initializers so as an array this is an array when you pass the same thing to a matrix it becomes a matrix right and uh, the matrix constructor additionally converts the convenience string initializer as in matrix this one so it's just trying to say as to how this is actually being uh, stored and, and uh, interpreted now coming to so so that's about it right guys uh, just go through this there are it's this these are not the extensive list of operations that can be done these are few and even in few you know you saw quite a few right but then uh, numpy and uh, scipy you know, these are the two most used packages in python you know when it comes to machine learning these are the two most python which has been rampantly used everywhere so if you intend to write machine learning programs someday, make sure that you at least know NumPy to start with and then maybe catch up on SciPy, SciPy later on.